And a tool that I really advocate using is a rug temple. These are made in Finland. They're specifically made for weaving rugs because of the very strong angle, acute angle that you see on the, the metal plate here on the end is designed to easily fit down into that very thick, meaty part of your rug to help hold it out. Now, if I turn it around this way, maybe you can see it. And maybe if I hold the rug, you can see that right along the edge, if I put that in there, it's really holding that out well. I'm gonna demonstrate this a little bit later on when we get to the loom. And you'll see how it helps to hold that out and keep an even edge all the way through the weaving process of your rug. It's looking good. I think another couple of passes and we'll be good to go. Excellent. I'll snip this off. And now I'm ready to insert the temple. Well, and the reason I'm choosing this style of style of temple is because of the acute angle that is on the teeth of this temple. When you're weaving bound weave, it's a very, very thick textile. And if you have a temple with a very sharply angled teeth, it helps to build into those edges and helps to hold it out in place. But how do you ins insert a temple into your work? Well, let me take it apart. You can see there's a whole series of holes along the edge of my temple. And I can adjust the width of that by just simply moving the other bar to the position that you want. Now, what's going to determine that is using my reed and my warp to determine the width of this. This is adjustable from maybe 24 inches up to maybe 30 inches. So what I'm going to do is first start in the first row or the first little hole here and lay the temple up against my reed. And what I'm seeing is the metal plate on the left hand side and the metal plate that holds the teeth on the right hand side are roughly right at where I need to be. That's perfect. So now I don't need to adjust it any farther. If I had a wider warp, I would simply just move the temple down to accommodate the width that I would need all the way up to perhaps a 30 inch width. But I only need 24. So I'm going to start with the very first hole. And now I'm going to take the metal plate and put it right along the edge and insert those teeth into the header that I just wove in. Open it up, do the same thing on the other side, place the temple on and then slide the sleeve over to hold that into place and it's locked in. And that's gonna to help to keep the width that I'm uh, trying to achieve at 24 inches. You see, with bound weave, it's a weft face twill and it tends to pull in pretty greatly. So this is gonna be a great tool to use. And as I insert that in, I also wanna keep the metal plate back maybe a quarter of an inch from the edge, just so that I'm not beating up against the temple. That's gonna save your read. As I bring this back, sure enough, I'm hitting the fell line and I'm not hitting the temple. <laughs> 